This is a replicated nursery, my nursery, my toys, the dolls, the crib, the wallpaper was redone, um, replicated and um, put together to do this exhibit and the rocking chairs are all as was, as is in my nursery upstairs. I can tell you that doll I recognize very well. The wallpaper I do remember very well. It's been replicated perfectly. It still is upstairs in my nursery as we speak, but it's a little run down. So they had to, you know, find it, get it copied, get it remade. So this is an exact, you know, as close as can be replica of the nursery that's still um, on the top floor of Graceland. So here we have the faux, the infamous faux, faux fake fur that I had. Everyone thought I was so luxurious as a child, and there it is, it's fake. And, um, and it's there, and then here's the uh, record player, my first record player, which I hadn't seen since yesterday, since I was tiny. I just remember being, you know, having it in the middle of the floor and playing records. Well, you know, I actually like, rec we have record players in our house still to this day. So I'm happy to see it. Um, I got one for Christmas with records and vinyl and 45s. <laughs> so I'm excited when I see a record player because even my kids love going to um, vintage record stores and getting records. So I'd love to bring the record back. This is kind of the section where they wanted to show the charity aspect of what my father was all about, which he was involved in many different charities and these are some of the, a lot of the checks that he wrote and they wanted to feature that. He almost, you know, gave quickly or more quickly what he had than, you know, he, he probably gave more than he had. All of the memories here are my favorite. You know, my, my golf cart key was a big one, I have to say. I had my own golf cart that my father gave me and my, the key is kind of encapsulated in a box and it's a key with a tag with my name on it. It's worn out completely and it was kind of my um, key to terror, freedom, you know, <laughs> mayhem, that key was my life. It was never far from me or, you know, that, that was the first thing I went for when I would arrive at Graceland was where's my key. I hadn't seen the ID bracelet that he gave me that was featured in a photo for years. We're always trying to find new and interesting things to do in this room and someone gave, you know, brought up this idea of having this exhibit of me and my father, and I didn't quite know what it would mean. And um, they, you know, pulled together the most amazing things, and it's very interesting. It's kind of encapsulating my childhood and my life, which is, you know, emotional and fascinating and interesting all in one. You want to celebrate someone who pioneered music and who made such an, a change in the world and historically um, uh, speaking changed everything, and you want to you know, celebrate that kind of thing now. I don't think that it's something to grieve. It's overwhelming, you know, a little bit. It's like, this is your life and all in one room.